Hello and welcome back. Still painting the Tour de France. <laughs> I'll be doing that for a long time. That probably wasn't necessary to say, but today is a uh, a big day of reckoning in the Tour. We're racing on part of the course of Perry roubaix and the uh, cobblestones, and actually even before the cobblestones, are really wreaking havoc on the race. So I'm working now on uh, the fourth painting I've done from the stage today. <laughs> it's the thing with this race today is that it's so eventful that I end up painting quite a few pieces. But this is the uh, wearer of the white jersey. That stands for the best young rider, best placed rider under the age of uh, 24. Now what's ridiculous is the two-time defending champion winner of Perry roubaix I mean not Perry roubaix is uh, the Tour de France rather, is also the wearer of the yellow, of the white jersey, Tade Pogaccia, Slovenian rider. There are several Slovenians. He's not even the champion of Slovenia. But he has sensed an opportunity with the misfortunes of Jumbo Visma, who have crashed, had to swipe, but swap bikes. Right now, the pretty much the entire team is um, off the back. I do think one of their two GC contenders is still in this group, but Pagacha senses an opportunity or is more likely his um, race director in the following car has said, hey, it's a good time to go, put the pedal down. Or of course he has got great instincts, he could well be doing it himself. Just said, hey, I feel good. I'm really, these cobbles are going great for me. I'm going to give it a go. So I'm trying, like this communication, the heads is like, so I'm watching the race and looking for a moment that seems significant like Pogaccia launching an attack. But also I'm looking for something that is um, fun to paint, interesting to paint, shows a bit of what the racing is about. Because in a second, <laughs> not even, this particular moment was over. Also just peeking back in here is Garrett Thomas I gotta get his helmet in there. Another one of the hopefuls. But, so the image needs to stand on its own because this is not something that will um, last other than the photograph. So, I mean, last other than in a photograph or this painting. So getting some of the fans along the side of the road. And they're still on one of the cobbled sections. And as I start to paint this, hopefully I'll be able to communicate just how dusty and dirty it is.
I'm going to call it sensing his moment. And now we switch over to the color. Move that water to where it's a little easier to reach. So it's, um, again, working through the light values into the darker values. the nice thing about these uh, watercolors and because it's a little bit more gestural atmospheric like when I work with my paint sticks it's a much harder edge kind of thing I've actually gotten now to where I don't like painting cycling with those because it they don't quite have the movement so you see how that was too dark and I just put a little more water on my brush and was able just to pull it back up. So there are many different ways to um, get what you're looking for. So now I'm going to lay in some of this gritty dust. communicate just how nasty these conditions are. So not only do you have the incredibly rough cobbles here where I live in Richmond, there's a section of cobbles and I ride them occasionally because it's an easy way out to one of the um, trails. Um, bike trails, but boy, they're not fun, they're jarring. Now nowadays, even my bike has um, forgot his arm, <laughs> forgot his open shirt. Even my bike has much more, um, much wider tires than used to be common. So the, uh, like these guys will be riding like a 28 millimeter tire in hopes of um, smoothing out <laughs> some of the roadway and not getting caught in the crevices between, between the cobbles. Sorry, sometimes it's a little difficult to work on the painting and talk at the same time. <laughs> so I apologize for those weird little breaks in what I'm what I'm saying. Plus, I also have that in my speech pattern. I used to, uh, as a kid, I was a stutterer, so I tend to um, put these little breaks in my sentences while I try to figure out what I want to say next or make sure I say what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> we got also a little bit of the red right here of the rider from uh, Enios and now back to the pink again. Probably shouldn't have changed like that. switch over to the blues. So first the uh, little 
sponsor logos. Sponsors of the um, white jersey. But so now I'm just sort of trying to get this sky in the background as well. Now a little, one, a little bit more pigment on the brush. I, you know, part of watercolors is that ratio of um, water to pigment. And see now I'm actually picking up some of the pigment and dropping it on the paper towel. So you have another option you have to sort of balance your intensity of your color. Coming back in and getting more indication of the cobbles. And now I'll switch over to this blue green of um, Bora Hansgrove's kit. For many years they were almost all black. And I think they finally figured out that, boy, that makes them really hot <laughs> racing in the summer. So now they've got this dark green sleeve and then a um, much more dominantly white kit. As you always see, um, Ineos has always wore dark kit. And on the really hot days, kit meaning um, the brighter's uniform. So I really like the way this is coming. I like the communication between the riders. It's sort of like, it feels like Pregaccia is looking over and going, okay, we got our chance. You guys gonna work? Let's go. Because everybody here, Lassoff is a contender for his team. Um, I believe this is um, Betiol riding for um, EF Education. He's more, he's not their GC man, although their GC man is having a lot of trouble with general classification. In other words, racing for the yellow jersey. He's been having a lot of trouble this tour already. We're just getting started. So um, the team may switch to just um, riding for stages, they already have Magnus Court, who is up the road right now, who um, is defending, well today he doesn't really have to defend it, but has been amazing in his uh, winning and holding the um, polka dot jersey of best climber. Now when we get in the high mountains, he'll probably drop away, but still. So the team, EF Education, is already having a fabulous tour. So now just coming in and using this um, black that I like to create rather than using a um, too black because it just gives you a much better color. Because yes, black is a color. <laughs> I'm amazed how many people, how many cyclists, professional cyclists now ride without gloves, particularly on a day like today. I mean, I don't like. I like the extra protection of my hands, but also while you're riding, but if you happen to go down, I 
not having gloves on can be really bad. I mean, for me, you know, I tear up my hands. I don't ride for a couple of days. But these guys, no matter what, no matter what happens to them, they've got to finish the stage. Then they've got to get up the next day and do it all again. And if they can't do either of those things, then they're out of the tour. They don't. They're done. It's over. Amazing enough, here we are at the fifth stage, and now today may change things, but so far, at least, everyone who started this tour, all 176 riders, are still in it. Crashes have been a little less prevalent, or at least, yeah, I mean, sometimes the tour is just spectacular crash fest this year seems to be a little less I mean last year was of course actually resulted in suing the person who got in front of the peloton showing the sign to their grandparents that they were there and ended up taking out several of the hopes of <laughs> several riders hopes of being there to contest the tour at the end of the day, end of the three weeks. Whenever I talk to people who don't watch the tour, everybody knew about that wreck. So this year, by starting the tour with a time trial, it kind of um, cut down on some of the crashes just because what often happens is that the first two or three stages are all sprint stages. Literally everyone in the peloton feels like they got a chance. They could win the stage. And for if it's all flat stages and everybody's pretty tight together, if you win a stage, you pull on a yellow jersey. So by having the time trial sort of slowed that down. So here's this painting. Let me do the requisite, you know, please give me a follow, comments, all of that helps drive more people to see it. So, you know, the more people to see it, hopefully the more people will enjoy it. But you can see all of my work on theartofcycling.blogspot.com or all of my cycling art and read about the race. Plus, you can go to my website where you can purchase all of the work and that's gregleach.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I truly do appreciate it.